Hey Scorpio, welcome to your um, WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by. Information about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, you can check out the description box below. To all my new viewers, welcome. Um, this will be your general reading. So general, you know what that means. And um, I'll be reading two sides of the energies, you and your persons. And um, you pick your side, all right? So Scorpio, let's get on with your reading. What do we have for Scorpio in love for this week? What do we have for Scorpio? Oops. Lousy shuffle. What do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio, tell us more. This will be for Scorpio, the sun, moon, rising, and Venus. In love. Page of Cups. The Four of Pentacles. The Magician. The Eight of Wands, the Knight of Cups. Wow, <laughs> the Two of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. Wow, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, Scorpio. You have um, a similar um, energy with your sister sign, um, Cancer, with regards to the person that you're dealing with. So you might want to check that out as well, that reading as well, okay? The Cancer reading I'm, I'm posting today. All right, so um, Scorpio. First message I'm getting is that this could very well be a new person that you're starting to get to know. You're meeting a new person, getting to know a new person, and things seem to be fun, you know. You're starting to admire this person, starting to like them, starting to probably even have loving emotions towards them, yeah. Especially this person is giving you all the attention, wanting to talk to you more, chat with you, see see you more and more and more each day. Yeah. And someone who is pretty expressive of how they feel. Or if not, this is someone who is really planning and wanting to um, say something. Yeah. To express how they feel towards you. Okay. That is basically for those of you who are dealing with a new person okay now and with that new person by the way um i feel that that is going to be smooth sailing provided you don't overthink it up meaning just go with the flow and see how things unfold with that person yeah let things happen yeah um, perhaps also, Scorpio, if you are the one who is showing a bit of um, restraint or being closed off towards this new person, maybe you're not trying, you know, you're, you're trying not to be um, open or much open or not, not very vulnerable in the beginning. Um, your person could have this sense that maybe you're not interested, you know, that, that sort of thing. So maybe if you want to get to know them more, um, the message here is try to open up a little, you know, give that, um, allow that space, since you are trying to meet this new person, trying to get to know this new person, allow that space, to, um, open up to that space, you know, for that getting to know process to take place. And you will see how things will unfold. Yeah, that is for the new person. Yeah, because I see here that there is the tendency for this person to feel that maybe you're not interested, or maybe you're still healing a broken heart, or maybe you're just not um, ready, you know, to meet someone new here. Where in fact, I feel that you are. 
you're pretty much um, coming into this reading Scorpio whether it be dealing with a new person or, or somebody that you are already dealing with I feel that you are a person full of love someone who very well know what you want in a relationship in a connection and what type of um, interactions you expect and you want yeah in a connection in particular there is someone here that you truly have your eyes on yeah someone that you hold dear someone that you're wanting to be with someone that you want to be partnered with in life and i feel that you are trying to manifest this person in your life um in ways that you do things yeah your manifesting could be in a form of just um s s sitting back and um, waiting for them to come while trying to be open or for some of you this could very well be you um, trying to be open in reaching out letting this person know that you're open for conversation for communication and things like that or at least open to um, deeper uh, communication with one another yeah with regards to the person that you have in mind um this is someone scorpio I'm, I'm seeing scorpio i'm seeing that they know this is someone who knows that you may have retracted your energy from the dating scene or at least from them you know you may have um not been very uh perhaps you're not as spontaneous as you were in the past in terms of communication in terms of um, reaching back out to them and your person is really wanting to communicate honestly this person right here is wanting to communicate and for some of you if this is someone who has wronged you in the past they are wanting to communicate and um, wanting to make that apology wanting to clear the air wanting to let you know what they truly what truly they feel what they think about the situation that you have at hand yeah and i feel that they're intending to visit you <laughs> to see you yeah especially if you have been um closed off if you are ermiting if you're not wanting to talk to them you may be surprised this person would just show up at your doorstep <laughs> I see that happening too but this is someone who would want to reach out yeah to have that conversation with you but I feel that for this time around you're probably just open for um, small talks or even open to meeting new people that's what I see um, experiencing new things eating new cuisine new food and things like you're wanting to try something new at least during this time frame probably this is you just getting tired and and sick about thinking about the things that did not work in the past and perhaps you're just giving yourself a break that's what i see so now with regards to that connection that we have been talking about with the person that you have in mind um i feel that if um, this communication is not taking place just yet there would be a lot of anxiety caused on on your person's side while you on the other hand you may not be talking but this is you just um, trying to gain some inner peace but on your person's side i with regards to this connection i feel that this is someone who would um, keep on worrying and thinking about where is this going why is it that scorpio is not talking to me so it, it gets crazy in their head yeah and the more you don't talk to them the more this person gets um anxious hurt heartbroken yeah for whatever that is scorpio i feel that the message here is you you knowing exactly where you want this connection to go if you want to cut it off then it's good to communicate that if you want to just um, let it be for now because you need more time to think and um contemplate then um i feel the advice here is to um for you to let it be known to the other person as well because i feel that you're dealing with someone here who is pretty hurt and um you know the process of acceptance of of a heartbreak is it's 
It's far too difficult sometimes for, for other people, but may not be as difficult for others. But I feel that you're dealing with someone who is having a hard time with that. So however that takes place in, in this connection, I feel that there is this energy here of needing someone to open up, you know, and tell the other person where this connection is at right now and what do they want to do with it. If you want a break just to think things through, it's good to um, communicate that. If you want to cut this off altogether, it's also good to communicate that. If um, if you are dealing with someone new and that um, you see that the other person is beginning to be more invested and you are not ready just yet, it's also good to communicate that. It's, it's a very, um, the element here of really um, communication. Communication is, is important here. But of course, your time permitting, having your time for yourself, that too needs to be respected by you and the person that you're dealing with. And why is it that I am talking about this communication is primarily because um, Scorpio, you know now what type of relationship or what type of connection you want to be in. And then somehow you have choices here. Yeah. And if you are just... Um, uh, closing out altogether at this point in time without having to communicate to either the new person or or the person that you were dealing with in the past um, there could be a tendency for for both of these connections to just go off you know and well if that is your intention that's good but if it is not if you're just needing a break and um, then you needed the time and space to think and be on your own space then it's good to communicate that so that when you're ready, these people can understand that you're ready to pick um, and pick back up again. You know what I mean? But for you right now, this is your own time. But what I'm seeing here is that you have a couple of people around you who are waiting, waiting to um, start things up, waiting to apologize, waiting to... to um, for some of you, even build a new foundation together. Mm -hmm. You're pretty much wanted here, yeah, for all the good reasons. Yeah, a lot of people are wanting you around you, Scorpio. Okay. But I feel that in, in, in the next few weeks, you would definitely know. Um, what decision to make in particular you know i feel that uh, for some of you you would even realize that you know some hearts are, will be broken here in particular if you have a lot of options so i feel that you will get into a point of of making a decision in the next few weeks but as of this moment um you kind of um taking the time off yeah taking the time off and truly um manifesting what's good for you if it is um silence for now you're manifesting silence then so be it yeah but definitely even if you tell me or not i see that you are still pretty much in this space of wanting to be in in some sort of a working um functional connection and i feel it's one of these that i see here Okay, I'm going to leave it at that, Scorpio, and um, I hope this gives you insights. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Uh, if this doesn't resonate, you can check out your other placements, and you can check out my other readings in, in my channel. By the way, you can also check out that Cancer reading. I feel that um, that's uh, pretty much similar, or you, you know, there is that... Um, synchronicity in your energies yeah with your sister sign so you can check that out as well if this is where we part ways thank you for stopping by